Hey everyone, or is it good afternoon? Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. Today, I want to share a um, a project that I created with a couple of new dot stamps and actually dies I got in. So they are by Spellbinders, and these were designed by Yanas Makula. And these are actually a purchase that I made. The Spellbinders didn't send it to me. Although I am working on some uh, Christmas uh, projects for Spellbinders, these were actual purchases that I made. Um, one of them being this uh, hot foil plate and die set. And this one is called Christmas Die and Glimmer Sentiments. I love this one. I will link these two in the description box below and actually a couple more that I really have been eyeing that way if you guys want to if you can get them that way you have them um anytime you use any of the spellbinders links they are affiliate links which means I will make a small commission if you were to purchase items using those links and I really appreciate when you guys do that uh, but this is like I said a purchase that I made so you get all the uh, main die you get the silhouette die here let me use take one off you get the silhouette die and then you get the intricate like a gift is actually two dies so you get the a and the gift and then the sentiment it comes in a little hot foil uh, plate little hot foil plates and they are very very easy to use i will show you how to use them in a way that it is that's very easy this is a great way to use up your scraps if you have a bunch of scraps uh wait a minute did i put it in wrong i don't think so the in a way that you can uh use up your scraps i'll share with you how to do that well i don't know what i'm doing wrong but it is not fitting ah doesn't matter we're going to use it anyway so that's one of them and the other one that i picked up is also designed by Yanis makula it's also the same uh collection within the same collection and it is this uh poinsettia bloom every year i try to pick up a poinsettia die so this is my 2023 poinsettia die and it is gorgeous i'm not really a colorist and you're going to see that they it that they do uh, come out really, really nice with not too much work. Here's one of those sentiments that I want to pick up that I'm, I'm going to put on my wish list. But if you guys want to pick it up, I'll link it in the description box below. It's gorgeous. So this is a two-piece die. You get the silhouette and then you get the intricate. What the intricate does, that all these petals, some of these petals fall out. And some of them is left just the outlines. So it's very, very pretty. So I'm going to share with you because I did use it already. So let me share with you what it looks like. Now, if you're going to color and you're not cutting, you're not going to, um, you don't want to paper piece the pieces back in. I recommend that you use a heavyweight cardstock, which even though it cuts it, they don't fall out. You can gently take it out of the die and all the pieces are intact. I did cut the silhouette. You can hardly see it. It's, it leaves a uh, very small, maybe an eighth of an inch border. And I did do it in white. And this one is my gray one. But see how my coloring isn't that gray. It's not very straight or anything like that. But this is the piece when all, you take out all the little pieces. That's what it looks like. You get left with some leaves, with some berries. And when you, after you've colored this and you add this uh, piece back on top, when you layer this back on top, look at how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous, right? So that is, y'all know that I like for Christmas, sometimes I like doing the black and the white and with some gray in it so this is what that's going to be i did order some uh black foil from spellbinders that i want to use but it's not here yet so that's what what it looks like it leaves all those details in it and some of the leaves pop out and then this comes out separate so i did cut it in white I did cut it in white and left it all intact and glued it to the silhouette and then i cut it out in silver and i took out all the uh let all the pieces come out that are supposed to come out that's how i did that 
I did create a tag using a die from my stash. I believe I picked this one up at, on Amazon. I will share it in the description box below if if it's still available. But it comes with the tag reinforcement pieces. And then it also comes with, it's a tag pocket die. So it comes with the main die that has the tabs to create a pocket. And then it comes with the layering piece for this front flap. So it does come with a layering piece. And then it comes with a two-piece uh, tag to go inside the pocket. So one's a layering and one's the, the, um, the base. So those all came in here. And if I can find it again, I will link it in the description box below. But this is the tag that I created. I didn't really want to use any Christmas paper because I wanted the poinsettia to be the showstopper or the focal point on this tag. Here is one of the sentiments in a burgundy uh, paper. And then I added the gold word with the gold foil. And then I did the uh, gold foil on the wishes. So this one says warm wishes. And these are not made to go straight. If you notice, wishes is straight, but warm is at an angle. That's the way those are designed. And here is the back of my tag. I did use the reinforcement back here. And what I did was I created the poinsettia. And then I took the, let me grab it. What did I do with it? After I had cut out the poinsettia, I was left with a piece that, um, I don't know what I did with it. I was left with a piece that had the shape of the poinsettia. I really don't know what I, what I did with it, guys. Anyway, I had cut out the uh, the piece that I used to cut out the shape of the tag, left me an edge, a scalloped edge, and I used that as my template to cut apart my poinsettia. See, when you pull this out, part of the poinsettia is on the pocket of the tag, and part is actually on the tag. But I use, see this, when I cut this piece out, it left, left me the template for that. And I use that to cut it out. This is, I'm not giving this to anybody. See, I'm just using scraps to just kind of play with it and get familiar with it. I will give you some tips on this. If you're going to split something up like this, whatever color you use, make sure that after you cut it out, you color the edges of, with that same color. I waited till afterwards, and you can see I got a little bit off the line. Um... But it doesn't look bad. Um, but definitely you do want to edge those pieces wherever you split it. And when you put it back in place, look at how gorgeous that is. Isn't that pretty? And I love, love, love the sentiments. I'm going to do the sentiments in different colors. Let me plug up my machine and show you how easy it is to make these sentiments. So let's turn this... Uh, foil machine on. I'm going to move these to the side and I'm going to share with you how easy these are to do. And I'm just going to do them in, I'm going to do one in white. That way they're more, you guys can see them. There is another one that I did and here is another one. It's really, really easy to do foiling guys and to get it in the right place because you can actually use a piece of washi tape and it's not going to hurt your paper. So I'm going to share with you how to do that in a very, very easy way. I'm going to use Joy. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can cut out your silhouette and do the foil, or you can foil the word and then cut it out. For me, I found it easier uh, and less waste by cutting out the silhouette. So that's what I'm going to do. And let me find the sentiment that goes with this. Um... This one is the one that goes with that. So there it is. So we need these three. We need the silhouette, the sentiment. It's all included in the set and the word joy. So I'm going to cut the silhouette in white so you guys can see how easy it is. And I'm going to use scraps. I'm going to use a, I have a bunch of scraps in a basket on the floor in my way. <laughs> just messing with you. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it out really quick. So you guys can see that how easy it is to use it. While my machine is heating up, I'm going to be doing 
um, a little bit of die cutting. Nothing major. I just want to share with you how nice uh, and how easy it is, is to foil. A lot of times when I first bought my machine, I felt like, see, there's the die cut. I felt like, ooh, I don't know if I want to do this. And I was intimidated by my machine. And when Spellbinders invited me to create for them, I didn't have a choice. So um, sometimes they would send me hot foil plates and I had to get very comfortable with it. So uh, in doing that, sometimes we're accepting that something like that, we have to learn how to do these things. So I had to learn how to not really learn because it's not difficult, just get a little bit more comfortable. So I'm going to cut out the joy in the Anna Griffin. See, I have my little scrap here, Anna Griffin gold, and I'm going to use that. And the goals might not match, but they're still going to look good. The gold foil with this, it's still, it'll still look good. And for this, I actually have a scrap that I used. I did a gold foiling one of those shoes. And I, I saved this, guys, because you can put words and stuff in there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this while that's heating up. It's still heating up. I should have put it on the plate before I was doing this. Let me go ahead and put it on the plate. So what I'm going to do, since I have the word joy uh, already, the silhouette cut out, I'm going to take a scrap piece of foil, big enough for that word. I have a piece right here I can use. And you can tell where portions where you've used up the, the foil already. Now, to do the foil, guys, you want the gold portion, the, the pretty side, to be on your letters. Not on the back of the plate, but on the front of the plate. And this is how I do it. I'm going to show you how simple it is. Make sure the orientation is correct. Uh, it says to one and all. And I know that when I put this down, I'm going to flip it this way and put it down right here on my little strip. Now what I'm going to do is get a piece of washi tape. These are real easy to use guys and, and so uh, user friendly. It's not difficult at all to get it straight. So I'm just going to hold it there and I'm going to get my piece of washi tape and tape it down. What's that going to do? That's going to create a hinge for me where I can lift up the, the word the the plate and add my foil to it so i'm going to drop my foil right underneath the plate and because the plate is taped it's in the right spot so i'm just going to go ahead and put it in my machine to heat up and i really don't use any shims uh, i'm going to use one for this i get pretty good results i'm going to say that if you're using um if you're using, let me make sure this foil didn't come out. I think I moved it. No, it didn't come out. Oh, yes, it did. It moved. So, make sure I've got it right. If you're going to use, make sure it's sticking on your paper, guys. Make sure that it's making contact on your paper because you do want to make create that hinge and lift it up and add your piece of foil underneath. And then just drop it back down. That should be good. My big old fingers. So I'm going to drop it back down and I'm going to lift it up. But it is attached to my paper so I'm gonna set it in my machine hopefully it will not move that's the thing when you tape it to oh, I kind of feel like that moved again let's do this differently guys because we will be here all day trying to do this so I'm gonna go ahead and just get a strip of paper 
I'm going to use this uh, scrap that I was working on. Now, these designs are made to go to this side, towards your right, because the word is to your left. So make sure that when you're using this, you're leaving yourself enough space. By putting down my die, I know where I need to have this drop, more or less. So I have an idea where it's going to work. Just put it down and tape it. Add your piece of foil. See, now I have plenty of, of area to put my washi tape down. Put your foil. The pretty side has to be facing the words on the die. Not the, not facing down, but facing the words on your, the letters on your die. There. It's not going to go anywhere from there, you guys. So I'm going to pick it up, put it in my die cut, in my uh, foil machine. And I'm going to put the lid down and let it heat up for a minute. While that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. These words are so um, fine. Like the letters are real fine, real skinny. So my machine is blinking. It's heating up right now. It's heating up that plate. And there's the word joy. Look at how fine that is. Like it's definitely tweezers will help. Look at how fine that is. Can you see it? It's dainty. Okay, looks like it's already heated up. I am using kind of thick paper. I'm not going to add another shim. If my paper were a little bit thinner, I would fold just a piece of computer paper in, in half and add that as a shim. But I'm using heavy cardstock, so I don't need it. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the plate off and run it through my big shot machine. And you're going to see the results we're going to get. And don't run it really, really fast. You know, just kind of slowly turning it. And usually when I get to the end, I return it as well in the machine. I run it back, forward, and then back. And you're going to see the results that you're going to get. And then I'll put it back in my plate. And if I'm going to continue using it, I would actually put a full sheet and space out more than one. But for this demonstration, I only wanted to do the one. So I'm going to take it out. And when we remove this, you're going to see how pretty. Look at how nice it foiled. Look at that. Now we can take our die and line it up where we need it to be and I'm actually going to turn this off because I just wanted to share it with you so I'm going to show you that all I'm going to do is line it up as far as I want it to go where I think it's about right and that looks about right to me and I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and I use my Anna Griffin because I cut a lot of artwork out with the coordinating dies I don't have to be adding washi tape to glue it down the magnetic shim I cut into that so the magnetic shim holds the die and the paper together. So let me show you. Here's my Anna Griffin magnetic shim. I put it down. I line this up wherever I want it. It's not going anywhere unless I shift it around. Then I gently put down my plate on top of it and I'm going to cut into the magnetic shim. These are gorgeous like you could sit there and just with a bunch of little scraps of foil you can create these uh, in no time flat and there it's gorgeous they're gorgeous there's my die cut look at that look at how gorgeous and how perfect it's lined up now all we have to do is glue the word joy and this thing is so scary you can either put glue on something and dab it or I normally just do little dots here and there with my glue with my fine detail everything doesn't need to stick down everything doesn't need to have glue so there's that and I don't use any of those fancy pins or anything on my glue uh, tip I take these from those little glue bottles that we buy I took one uh, one of them off and I put it on the ring 
the collar of my bottle and that's how I cap it off and keep it from clogging up. Um, does it always work? For the most part. Sometimes I still have to run my pin through it and I'm okay with it. So I'm going to pick this up guys so hopefully we'll line it up straight. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love it in white. And what a great way to use up all your scraps. Look at that. I want y'all to see that. Is that gorgeous or what? So we have joy to one and all. It wasn't very hard to do at all. Remember when you're using hot foil, your hot foil has to be facing. The pretty side has to be face, facing the raised letters, not the back, not, not the, the back of the foil. Is what gets glued to your paper. So the pretty side has to be right on the raised area of your hot foil plate. And that's how you do it. My friend Carolyn, I know she was uh, embossing. I'm, I'm, I'm putting, I'm throwing you under the bus, sis. Um, and she says, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I said, well, what way is your foil facing? She says, well, it's facing up. I said, no, your foil pretty side has to be on your, on your, um, on your image because she was using the printed ones but still it's the same concept the pretty side has to be facing down so she had it facing the wrong way so always remember that the pretty side and I even have it down on my machine it's written right there because at first I wasn't real familiar and sometimes I even still forget so I have a little label on here that says pretty side down on plate that way it will, it will be a constant reminder to me and I don't have to go and look at a YouTube video or anything because it's right on my machine and the more you play with it the more familiar you get with it but look at that look at how gorgeous gorgeous these are actually I'm going to put them on a little piece of paper that I've been coloring on so you can see how pretty Pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at that. It's gorgeous, right? So I don't think I need to demonstrate on how to cut the die, the other one, because I already pretty much explained to you guys and I showed you that you can pop all those pieces out. And if you cut it on thick paper, you want to take out the whole thing intact. And um, if you use thick paper, they won't fall out easily. And then I did glue it to the silhouette because I wanted to color it and I didn't want anything to be moving around or popping out. And even though it doesn't look pretty there, when you add the silhouette, that covers up all those lines where you got off the line or anything like that. That piece covers that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That's all that I had to share with you all today. I hope that this gives you ideas. I hope that this helps you to just pull out your machines, what, however it is that you do, whatever machine you own, uh, and start doing some hot foiling on your cards because it will make a tremendous difference. I wish I had used white here instead of the one I did use because look at how pretty the white one would have looked on there it would have stood out more right so but this is just my practice one so i can redo the tag again if i like it i'm you know i can make another one that i didn't previously print on and this was just like i said a practice one this also pocket fits a gift card it fits in here as well so i'm going to try my best to look for it for you guys in case y'all want to order it then i added some strips here of gold and and red and I wish I think that a burgundy would have looked better than this bright red but this is what I had and this cording I believe this was a gift but I think I ordered some on Amazon and I'll link one because adding that little gold metallic cord just takes your tags to that next level there it is again give you another look at it look at how gorgeous it is thanks for watching I hope everyone has a great day and God bless bye